Joining us now is Dr. Aditi Narukar. She's a physician at Harvard Medical School. Doctor, it's always great to have you with us. So let's talk about these vaccine passports because it's interesting how different these policies are across the country. Here in New York City, we've had to show our vax cards to do pretty much everything for a while. But then when I'm on the road in many states, I don't ever show it at all. What do you think about this mixed bag of rules? And do you think that these passports, these mandates work? You know, Savannah, I think there is great utility in these passports, particularly because they help slow the spread indoors among crowds, which is where transmission happens. They also may spur unvaccinated people to action. We know the majority of unvaccinated people are not strictly anti-vaccine. They're simply reluctant and don't find it relevant to their daily lives. Mm. And these passports can help change that calculus. On Thursday, Dr. Anthony Fauci predicted most cities are actually going to hit their peak in about mid-February, about a month from now. Doctor, tell us, what does it mean when we hit that peak? Does that mean things get better right away? What will cases look like? What can we look at to see what's ahead? So, Savannah, when we typically say we are hitting the peak, we are hitting the peak of cases. But we know that lagging indicators, including hospitalizations and deaths, are unfortunately two to four weeks behind. It is unlikely that we will have a sudden drop in cases. We will likely plateau or slowly trend down. But because our vaccination rate is low nationwide, only time will tell. And it is very difficult to predict at this time. Mm -hmm. And now, doctor, before we let you go, we do want to ask a viewer question for you. Patrick writes, I'm on an immunosuppressant medication. I'm 26, got the vaccine, and outside of my medicine, I'm in good shape. I know there's a shortage on tests, but I'm super high risk. What symptoms would you say are big red flags that say get tested? I think this is a good question whether you're high risk or not, because since tests are hard to get your hands on, people aren't sure when they should go out and try to do that. So for Patrick, particularly because he is immunocompromised and high risk, he should always have tests on hand. For those who are normal risk, some symptoms to really watch out for and get tested immediately are if someone has a fever, cough or sore throat. But if you have shortness of breath, chest pain or dizziness, call your doctor right away and seek treatment in the nearest ER. All right. There we go. Great answers there for Patrick. Dr. Aditi Narukar, always great to have you. Thank you. And now if you have a question for one of our doctors, let us know. They are ready to answer your questions. We're ready to ask them. Email us at morningnewsnow at NBCUNI.com with your questions and let us know if you want to stay anonymous. 